Hey, young world, it's Lydia. So, you guys know I've been having so much success on the Chinese eggplant. And I've made stir fries, chicken parm chicken parmesan, eggplant parmesan, numerous times since I've been growing it, this vegetable since spring. Um, it is still producing. Um, they're not as big as they used to be, but I've decided to try to overwinter this plant just to see what it'll do. Because, you know, even though people pulling up, pull them up, mine's are still producing and it's been pressed upon me to go ahead and at least try. It's not going to hurt me to try. We'll grow it again next year. But my new found love is oil, uh, olive oil and eggplant. So that's what I'm doing. I'm roasting the eggplant, and then I will bring you guys back and show y'all the brine. So, okay. In the recipe, Lady Cheryl, first of all, the recipe, if you want to follow it correctly or the way it was, go to Lady Cheryl's Organic Food Forest, because that's where I got it from. So I'm using her recipe, but I'm tweaking it now, because this is my second attempt. Um... I'm going to roast me some of my super chilies and cayenne peppers with my eggplant in the oven. So when it's finished roasting and I stuff them in the jars, they'll just have that roasted heat flavor together. So that's something I came up with. Um, you guys can do it or do it not. The brine is going to be the most important. You can season it any way you like. This video is an open collaboration with flavors and textures. She has a great channel showing us a lot of recipes, a lot of them coming straight out of her garden. She has an open collaboration, hashtag, I'm making that recipe. And this is Lady Cheryl's recipe. Check her out. Okay, young world. I have my glass, my mason jars washed and they're st sterilizing and it's hot. Never put a hot product in a cold jar. You should be heating up your glasses, um, jars as well. Um, this is the brine that I'm making. It's going to be one cup of olive oil, extra virgin, whatever you can afford, olive oil. All right. <clears throat> one cup of apple cider vinegar. All right. I'm going to go use my own special apple cider vinegar just for another added flavor to it. And pretty much as long as you put one part olive oil, one part vinegar, apple cider vinegar, rice wine vinegar, it'll be great. So I'm going to go ahead and use my vinegar, which I'm going to use two third cups. And, you know, that's my just a preference. Um, I believe that mine will be spicy with the roasted peppers I have in the oven. Um, I'm going to put fresh minced garlic. And you can see this is a teaspoon, but I used a heaping teaspoon. All right. I'm not going to add any salt because I soaked my um, eggplant in salt. Uh, so I don't want to use any salt. I have my garlic in here. And... This is my brine, and I'm pretty sure to be good. Um, that's pretty much it. It's basic. Normally, I would have probably put garlic powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and some other things. But I'm toning it back because I've already soaked my eggplant in salt water. And it's, I tasted it. There's already the salt is piercing through. All right? I'll be coming back to show All right. Loading up these jars. Very important to keep it one inch head space um, with your product and also your vinegar and olive oil brine. So that's all I'm doing here, just loading up the roasted uh, eggplant. Now the eggplant, I just put like on 270 and left them in the oven and kept checking on them. I stay in the kitchen when I'm working with canning projects and stuff because I wanted to come out perfect. I've already put the brine inside of this jar and what I'm doing is debubbling it. And you can tell the way I'm turning it that it must be a little hot. Alright, now this is working with oil. So 
So you don't want no troubles and no hiccups with this oil. So what you want to do is make sure that you are cleaning the rim very well. You don't want to do anything to keep it from sealing. And that's what I'm doing, paying close attention to here. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Fingertip tight. All right. One, two, little crank. Little crank. Not a big crank, just a little crank. And look at that egg clear and olive oil. When I tell y'all it's good, it's good. All right, so it's processed for 45 minutes. It's a small kitty. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Always place your canning items on a towel. You guys, well, there's my eggplant. Oh, and also roasted cayenne peppers and super chilies inside. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm well. My family's well. And I hope you guys are well, too. And I just want to go ahead and say, if you haven't been following me for a long time, or I ain't like I've been up here forever, I just want to say the reason why I do this is because it was pressed upon me. And if I can do it, you can do it. Have a great rest of your day.